engineering definitely an important way of structuring cities and life around us and we're certainly going to need more engineers in the future and today and guess what this Thursday is introduce a girl to engineering day and so we're going to be talking a little bit about that today here with me now is owner of engineering for kids New Mexico Michael Cumbo good morning Michael good morning thanks for coming in this morning engineering an important topic especially for girls we're trying to get girls more involved with the math and sciences before we get into that can you tell us about Engineering for Kids, what is it and how you came up with it? Engineering for Kids is a franchise business actually. We got into it after uh, I met the, uh, the founder, a lady named Dory Roberts, so mm -hmm. a female who is very much into engineering education in the state of Virginia. We wound up taking the franchise rights for EFK for the entire state of New Mexico. Fantastic. And so what, we, what do you guys do? We, uh, and to begin with, we've established a, a learning center uh, that is uh, focused on teaching 10 different engineering curriculum elements, six self-contained lab courses, each very hands-on oriented instruction, hour to an hour and a half, depending on age group, for kids four to 14. Mm -hmm. what we're trying to do is build a reservoir of goodwill with these kids so that they really learn to love the hands-on aspect of science, technology, engineering, and math. Yeah, absolutely. And this Thursday, I was just mentioning it, is Introduce a Girl to Engineering Day. Why do you think it is that it's tougher to get girls into this field? Is it the interest? Is it because, is, is that a lot, has, does that have a lot to do with it? Or is it just a stigma? Or, or what is it? A little bit of everything that you just said. I think um, there's a lot of pressure on girls to be involved in many different things. They tend to be a bit more social at this age, at this age than the boys are. Mm -hmm. um, the boys tend to be encouraged a little bit more in terms of the, the hands-on kind of things, and you can right. see that in the way they interact together. But when we get the girls to come in and engage in the coursework and in the hands-on lab work, they love it. In fact, our record-setting straw rocket performer is a is a young lady in the in that uh, four to six year old age group she's uh, outpaced all of the boys by at least 10 feet in the distance her rocket has traveled so tell me about this what, what is this this is called the straw rockets it's part of the uh, uh, the aeronautical engineering the aerospace engineering part of our coursework um, we actually teach the kids how to build um, little straw based air powered rockets and they learn about the elements of lift and power and drag the importance of weight and weight distribution, and she just came in and knocked everybody's socks off. Oh, I love hearing that. Okay, and now you have an event coming up on the 22nd. Can Correct. you tell us about this event? This is uh, an event that is tailored specifically to introduce a girl to engineering, so we okay. are tr trying to do a special outreach in cooperation with the, uh, the corporate office back in Virginia. We've actually established uh, twice the number of uh, slots for uh, a free workshop. We scheduled a workshop for uh, Saturday the 22nd and uh, once the uh, the local uh, newspaper ran a, a small article about it, it was uh, fully subscribed in the space oh, of about great. six hours. So we opened up a second session later the same day, the Saturday the 22nd, and that filled up within about 24 hours. So What's we, the age group here for? Um, the age group is, is not restricted, so we're okay. saying four to, four to 14. The, uh, okay. the, uh, the actual materials that we use, we try to group the kids into three different sections, four to six, seven to 11, and then 12 to 14. The motor skills are a little bit different across that full four to 14 age group. Yeah, I can imagine. So, so that event is coming up. We're gonna have details on our website on how you can get your child involved if you want them to participate uh, coming up this Saturday. Correct. On the 22nd. Thank you so much for coming in and talking to us this morning. Thank you for inviting me. 